Hey guys, this is William with another video for play, Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing a BGA C and D four player game with three other streamers. I'm playing with Rainier. He streams at twitch.tv slash Rainier Games, EconShawn, twitch.tv slash EconShawn, and Lumen. I actually don't know what is Lumen Lumen underscore S. I have it in here. Lumen is Lumen underscore S. So uh, these guys are all, their their names are just their stream names. So, All right, let's take a look at this. I opened Grocer. Is there anything I'm seriously considering aside from Grocer? So there's Seasonal Worker and there's Seed Trader, both of which are ways to get crops. What does Building Tycoon do? Another player, give them a food to build a room yourself. Any of the fishing, day labor, blah, blah, blah. You get a read, geologist. So the card, the best card coming back is Cultivator, which I'm not guaranteed. I could keep Frame Builder in mind for potential like stone or clay rooms or whatever, but definitely first picking Grocer here. Yep. Ah, uh, cottager. So do I just want to ship? <laughs> if Rainier first pick assistant tiller, did I do I just ship the entire day label day labor strategy to him? Um, on the other hand, Freemason. I am interested in Freemason. The reason I'm interested in Freemason is if I get that frame builder back, I could do a pretty fun hand where I build probably not stone rooms, but clay rooms. Ah, uh, maybe stone rooms. Now, I th I'm generally, I generally like Porter. I think Porter is also a card that's pretty good at building clay rooms. Because you just love the four clay action. Um, Plowmaker is also pretty decent with Grocer. Do I take Freemason? I'm going to take Freemason. <laughs> so, okay, normally when I play BGA, I can't do, like, it, there's a really, really significant cost to drafting a hand that isn't Nur. Uh, because most of the time, I'm not playing with three other players who will value, in my, what I, in, in my opinion, is they won't value family growth correctly. Uh, so then if you play Nur, you benefit from that the most. Now, this is like the only time I'm going to be able to play with three players who should all know that family growth is very important. So then we get to do, maybe we get to do weird stuff. So. So I could play Clay Hut Builder for a million clay. I could draft a card like Clay Plasterer. Clay Plasterer plus Frame Builder. One clay, one wood, two reed per rooms. Per room. I could draft a card like Excavator and say maybe there's a world where I get Cottager back. Am I getting Cottager back? Probably not. I'm probably not getting Cottager back. Um, layabout is usually pretty bad with Freemason because... You stay on a low family member count for so long. It's not that hard to feed most of the time. I think I take Clay Hut Builder. And then if I get a clay... If I get... The, so now if I get... the C and D have Clay Roof? I actually don't even know. Does C and D have clay roof? Straw has straw thatched roof. Hmm. Yeah, I would need a reed discounter for sure. Clay fire, on the other hand, lets me turn ten clay into uh, <laughs> some stone. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Uh, do I want to be really stupid? I could be really stupid. Mill raid is kind of cute if I get, uh, if I get the, uh, if I got, like, acreage, exactly. It pretty much, I pretty much would need exactly acreage. Take raid twice and sow, and then I can play mill raid and use it for reed. Do I want to just draft pastor here? Uh, drafting pastor is just such a giveaway of what I'm doing. Whereas mill right, mill right is kind of like, yeah, there's things you could do with mill right. They, they're pretty similar to pastor though, to be fair. The weird stuff you do with mill right is similar enough to pastor. I guess there's a world where someone does a two room house with ranch. And in that case, exactly mill right is better than pastor. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, frame builder. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> I'd be pretty excited if this was on Play Agricola because there are more support. There are more miners that enable this on Play Agricola than there are on uh, BGA. Because on Play Agricola, I could get Lighthouse, I could get uh, Rock Pyramid, I could get um, could get Mansion, I could get um, mm, Cloister. Yeah, there are a lot of miners that would support this kind of crazy, crazy hand. Um, but I don't know which of them are in CD. Yeah, something like Clay Roof would be perfect. I don't think Clay Roof is in this format. I don't think. What are the read discounters? Read Pond? Not really a discounter, but it gives me read. Yeah, this might just be a dead on arrival. Like maybe straw thatch roof. Okay, straw thatch roof. I could I could do something with straw thatch roof. Or clay supports. I could do something with straw thatch roof or clay supports. Oh, half timbered house is in there. Okay. All right, there, there are a couple cards here that might make this work. What cards that give Reno early? Um, yeah, yeah. Although this hand is always going to be pretty dependent on when Reno flips. We can also do a meta analysis here on our time and say, I wield the card that I wanted to wield because I only took 12 seconds to take it, whereas all the other players had to think a little bit about their fifth pick. <laughs> Which is not, I, that's not like a really fair analysis to do. Uh, yeah, Hedgekeeper seems bad in this format. I don't know. I like Porter. Transactor would be fun if I had a way to play Mansion in like the round 14 harvest. Like get all the resources on the board with which to play Mansion. I was thinking about second picking Porter, so... I mean, I could dump most of this hand and just play Porter, right? Play Porter, Grocer. I could do that. I don't... I'm not locked into this Freemason by any means. Hedgekeeper only really works with one card, and that is Mini Pasture. Well, and they changed it, right? I don't think Hedgekeeper works with Mini Pasture anymore. I think they, they changed that. So it doesn't even work with that. Uh, maybe I want a bunch of food from Sheep Whisper. Maybe I see Loom exactly. Even with Loom, I don't even know if I play it. Yeah, I, I think Woodcutter is not. Woodcutter is not good. Okay. Uh, Lantern House. I don't think I want to open Lantern House. I don't think I have time to do so. Do I just want to take Woodcart? Oh man, what card is the best?
What card is good for some, really good for some hands? The other thing to take would be Reed Pond. Oh, I want to play this Freemason so bad. All right, I'm going to take Reed Pond over Lantern House and Woodcart. That might be wrong. This might be wrong. Reed Pond for Nur. The thing is, if I'm playing Nur, like, I don't play a third occupation until probably Grocer. And once I play Grocer, then the Reed Pond is, like, getting more Reed after Grocer is not... Yes! Let's do it! <laughs> Alright, I'm building... How many stone rooms can I build? <laughs> for three stone, one wood apiece. How many stone rooms can I build? <laughs> oh, man. And I can't I can even do stuff with Millwright. I can't even do stuff with Millwright with Strathatched Roof. Oh, man. <laughs> So okay, what's the what's the most you could score? So let's say I plow three fields and I fence seven. Let's say I do nine rooms. What would I score with nine rooms? It, what would I score with nine rooms? Would I score anywhere near enough? Be knowing that mansion is not in here. Um Well, you score eighteen from your rooms, and it's let's be optimistic and say five family members. So 18 from your rooms, and then 5 family members puts you at 33. Uh, 3 fields, 35. 3 points from grain, 38. Uh, three. Let's say 2 pastures, 40. 1 of each animal type, 43. 1 vegetable, 44. 1 straw thatch drew, 45. Plus an oven, four, 48. So that line, you'd be high 40s as your floor. I don't know how much you're scoring beyond that, though. Because probably you don't have one of each animal type. Probably you don't have five family members. The Dr. Tiss says, Happy New Beers, Frank. Show Lumen who's boss in 2022. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dr. Tisk. <laughs> Yes, looking at our MMRs here, one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Would I be in the 500s? I don't know if I'd be in the 500s. I don't know. I don't I don't play on Board Game Arena that often, but yeah, I'd probably have to play a lot more of this format to uh, I I'd have to know what certainly for me to do well in this format, I have to know what cards are in it. I can't draft stuff and be like, oh, maybe I'll get Mansion, and then Mansion's not in the format. Or half Timbered House. half Timbered House is in CD on Play Agricola. But I'm not sure how much I trust Play Agricola. I'm not sure how much I trust Play Agricola. Because I'm not sure how up-to-date that is. Ha! Huh. So if I take this, when am I playing Big Country? I'm playing Big Country in like round 12 after building. So, okay, so the, the line with Big Country is something like plow three fields, fill every other space with rooms, and then play Big Country for four food and two points. It's something like that, right? Because if I play it any earlier, then I'm not getting... Does this work? Uh, does this work? I don't know if this card works here. But I also really do not want to pass it. Really do not want to pass it. So something like Beanfield is great here. Muckrake, meh. Feed Pellets gives a sheep now. Hmm. Pretty easy Beanfield, I think. Clay Pipe, unfortunately, is a Nombo with uh, Freemason Clay Hut Builder. Otherwise, that'd be kind of cool if it was, like, 
at any round that I take three what resources in, because I get assuming I get two from there, four from there. Okay, so what's the line? Okay, so let's say I open plow grain, plow grain, plow grain. Right? Plow grain, plow grain, plow grain. It means I've come out of stage one with no food and no resources. So in order to get to stone, I have to play... So then my first stock would probably be Freemason in that line, right? First stock would be Freemason in that line. And then I'd have to hit Reno. And I would also probably want to build an oven on that Reno action because I need the food for the second harvest. Game trade might actually be okay here. The reason I think game trade is okay because it gets me my one of each animal type with my round 14 family growth action. Whereas I think Dutch windmill is too expensive for what I want to do. I think I take game trade. Yeah. There's a, there's a world where I have three sheep and I want to turn three sheep into four points. Or two of them into four points. Yeah, that could happen. That could happen. Ooh. So, okay, yeah, so what is the, what is the plan? Is Moldboard Plow worth it? I need to get to three fields as soon as, as soon as, um, I need to get to three fields as soon as possible. The moldboard plow requires taking wood and taking start player for one extra field, which is not worth it. So I'll take sculpture here. Moldboard plow probably is not supposed to fall out of the draft in most games in this format, I would guess. It's probably not correct. They, they need to change wood field. The text on wood field is wrong. This text is awful. The, the way Woodfield reads, it reads as if you can sew on it. But anyways. Um, do I need two stone for two points? I might need two stone for two points. I might actually need that effect. But I might also be... Like, I'm also planning to sew, be plow sewing. And plow sewing throughout the game and having a card like Woodfield is good. Yeah. Oh, I also should have checked. I keep forgetting to check who's start player in this. I forget that that's a thing. You get to see before the start of the draft. I always forget about that. I'm going to play Mill right here. Let's do it. I can use some of my sh some of my uh, grain for points. I accumulate grain faster than I do read, for example. So turning grain, if I'm doing if I'm doing the straw thatched roof thing, um, then turning grain into food should be a a, a reasonable proposition. Lantern house for lumen. I'll plow. 
I could plow over here, but it really doesn't matter. I'm getting it three fields either way, so. My rooms can go around my fields. I think what I'm really missing is some occupation help. Some occupation help because I'm not totally sure how I'm feeding. So something that helps me play occupations, then I could take food off of the board. The fact that it, yeah, mm -hmm. I guess I need if I get both the ovens, I'm doing okay. But I want both ovens, you know. I do have to give an apology to the other players at the table here. Um, if if there's one other person who's doing weird stuff, then the other two players are going to have a huge edge. Like if 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 um, yeah, if if there's one other player doing something weird, the other two players are going to have a should have a pretty good game in that case, especially if it's an early family growth game. But we'll see. I kind of want early family growth. And the reason I want early family growth is because by the time I'm ready to build grow, I want the family growth space to be wide open. Like, I don't want to have to worry about getting family growth in 12, which I might have to if it's family growth in 7, right? So my dream is fencing is building seven, I think seven rooms and then fencing covering three spaces. I think that's the that's the goal. If Grocer or Freeze Mason was childless, I feel this hand if Grocer yes, if Grocer was childless, yes. Grocer being childless would be but, then, but even then, like I'm not building Yeah, I don't know about that, because I'm not building an empty room. Uh, I wouldn't build a room just to collect food vegetable, right? Because that would screw up my Freemason. I do agree that without a stone house payoff, this hand struggles. But if I could pull off, if I can get... Like, if I can do this in round 11 and play ranch, if I can build a bunch of stone rooms and play ranch in round 11, then I have a shot. Maybe even round 12 is good enough. Round 12 might even be good enough. Uh, I think I'm going to stay on target here. Three wood is fine, but I'm hoping to do better than three wood. You do childless for the three gain for the grain for the straw thatch and then build a bunch of rooms. Yeah, but the Freemason getting two stone per round is an important component of this hand. The, the Freemason getting two stone is what actually enables building stone rooms. <sighs> Sean's the one with Cottager, so we did not have Assistant Tiller Rainier immediately afterwards, scooping up all those cards. The, the big problem here is how many building resources I'm going to need in stage 2. 
I need so many building resources in stage two. Hopefully mill rate helps me with that. Right? Mill rate can get me the... Yeah. I can do, like, the, my first reno, like my clay reno. It can, grain can get me a reed, and then I get a uh, place draw thatched roof there. But I do want to build a major improvement on that action as well. Yeah. So one grain into two stone, one grain into a reed and a clay. So... I'm going to need stone. I'm going to need to take stone and I'm going to need six. I'm going to need a clay action. So I'm hoping to get six clay in four, I think. Although I kind of want to take. Kind of want to take fishing as well. Maybe what I do is I just eat a raw grain. Maybe eating a raw grain is fun or traveling players. Maybe I just eat a eat a raw grain instead of taking traveling players. And make sure that I get the, uh, take reedstone food, take reedstone food and then take clay in five. And then the dream is clay into reno, play Freemason in six. Not sure. Not sure about this. If I could buy, if I had enough food to buy stuff off of Grocer, that would be an interesting line. So maybe I'm supposed to take Reedstone food here. Get the one reed, get the stone for my clay oven. Is anyone else building the clay oven? Uh, Rainier's got six clay, one stone. So Rainier could build the clay oven. There is a world where I dump the Freemason and just build a clay room. Although the fact that I'm not getting a six clay action here changes that. Maybe if I get five clay in five, but even five clay in five is not enough, right? Maybe if I get five clay, four clay in five, but I, I'm never taking four clay in five. I'm always playing Freemason with my second move if given given that option. Ooh, seasonal worker here. Okay. Going down to zero food. So Sean is going to... Sean can't day labor here. He's not allowed to. Well, if he does, he starves. But maybe he has mendicant. Four and eight. Okay, yeah, four and eight is good. Four and eight is good. Problem is, I don't care about Plowso, and I don't care about Finley Growth without room. So if Sean can't legally use those spaces, uh, that might be too good for Lumen and Rainier. However, Lumen really wants to be playing all his Ox, so maybe it would just mean Rainier gets all those actions, <laughs> which would be kind of scary. I don't know. The other thing that we could talk about is like, why am I not talking about Frame Builder before my renovation actions? Because Frame Builder before my renovation actions doesn't actually save me any moves. Like, I can get all the resources to renovate with one move. But the problem is I can't, um... The problem is I can't, um... Like, so, yeah, so it just slows me down too much. Like, it doesn't actually change how many moves. But I can use it later for the, for the like, turn a bunch of wood into two stone. I can do that.
Family growth in five. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to see. But it might be okay, actually. It might actually be okay. But yeah, triple triple build for Mr. Brushwood Collector. Although with Cottager, you can only ever build one room at a time. So triple build is not as good, to be fair. Um, what am I doing here? Taking five clay. Five clay into Freemason. Stay on target. If Reno doesn't flip next round, I consider abandoning my plan. At least I abandon the Freemason part and just build a clay room. I really don't want to play Freemason until I bake with my oven, though. Maybe I take four wood second move. Or I could, you know what? I could start player straw thatched roof second move. And then this reed just kind of sits there the rest of the game and doesn't do anything. Maybe becomes a BMW at some point. Could also consider something like Clay Hut Builder. I think, yeah, I think I start player's straw thatched roof here. Because then there's also a world where I get six wood and I just build a wood room. Especially if Reno does not flip. So Rainier, round five, family growth, plus the cooking hearth, plus the first sheep grab. Uh, yeah. That's not, I've talked about that before, about how that's, you're not normally supposed to be able to get all of those things. Especially because I'm also tempted to take six clay. If Reno flips next round, there's a world where I do six clay into um, Reno. And then I'd be able to build in seven and grow in eight. So Reno here is good. Reno here is definitely good for me. Oh, man. Reno here is definitely good for me. How much do I want to commit to this degeneracy? So Lumen built two rooms and Econshan will absolutely build more rooms. So the family growth queue is going to be very clogged for a while. I think I'm going to commit to this degeneracy. I don't need to Freemason this round, though. I can take the six wood. I don't need to Freemason. Because Freemasoning this round gets me two clay, and two clay is not really that important. I can play Freemason and Reno round seven. That's what happens when you sit after pain. Wait. <laughs> you haven't played with pain for a while. Well, I haven't played with a lot of people in a while just because I didn't play for a bit. I was on vacation. It's de There's definitely like a big... The community is pretty... The play curriculum community is pretty small. So the time of day that I choose to stream or that I'm able to stream has a pretty big impact on who I play with. Right? There's a very, like, strong correlation there. Uh, do I pay a, a grain here? I don't think so. I think I just pay the clay.
So it's a round four sheep game. And the day labor stuff does put more food in. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bank on this game being hungry enough that my efficient feeding is going to carry me somewhat. Yeah. I think that's what that's what I'm really banking on here. Oh, so Sean has the day labor stuff, plus growth this round. That is not good. That's not good. That might be that might be game for Sean. I mean, maybe not. But him growing this round plus him growing this round, yeah. <laughs> Assistant Tiller plus building his room plus getting crops. Rainier going to fence here before the first sheep grab. Yeah, Rainier's having a good game. Rainier's having a good game. And he might have first picked Loom. This could be big points here for, for Rainier as well. Is Renault contested? Rainier is kind of contesting it, yeah. Do you want to play a major? No. Just play Woodfield. Sure. Is there a reason to play? I guess if I played another card first. If I played, um, if I played, um, Freemason first, then I could play Beanfield. I guess playing Beanfield is worse than playing Woodcop, because I care about how much wood I have. I don't really care about how many vegetables I end with. Vegetables are only ever points for this hand. They're never anything more than points. And this game is not determined by how many points I get from vegetables. This game is determined by how many rooms I built and how, and how early I grow. Oh. So I have to think about how I'm feeding in the next harvest. So, I can collect four stone toys from Freemason, then take clay and uh, build the stone oven. Probably, though, I'm just doing a so-bake action. Probably spending clay on the stone oven is bad. 
building the stone oven is something I want to do after making my rooms. Because now the, the race is just on getting getting my rooms down. That's like the most important thing for me. Yeah, so so bake, so two wood, bake a grain, and then play occupation. Um, do I play frame builder second? Probably frame builder second, yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, I had to eat a raw grain. Do I collect four wood again here? Does four wood matter? How much does four wood actually matter? Um, I guess it matters because of frame builder and fencing. Yeah, I guess four wood matters. Four wood and then second move. So bake, and then I'm playing frame builder and taking wood again in the next round or something like that. Yeah, the wood matters, I guess, for my branch, for my big country. Matters for that, kind of. The other thing to consider would be eating a raw grain to play Grocer, and then Grocer can get me the grain for the stone oven, but that seems not worth it, because I, ha I still have to do the so bake either way. So maybe next round, three stone frame builder. How much total stone? Okay, so if I'm building seven rooms, seven rooms is 21 stone and seven wood, right? And some grain can replace the stone. So yeah, I need a lot of stone. <laughs> I need a lot of stone. <laughs> Probably, yeah, probably the plan is try to maybe fence in 11 and then try to build, grow, play ranch in 12 and fill my farm that way. 
I think that's the that's my goal. Well, here for Rainier. I mean, Rainier's having a fantastic game. As uh, as good as Econ Sean's game looks, Rainier is having a fantastic game. A really fantastic game. And Lumen has to family grow, so there's a world where I get six wood next round. Well, I guess Lumen does might not first move grow. Uh, Lumen's going to take Reed last action, right? Yeah? Take Reed last action and then grow first move? Yeah? He just played Clay Pipe, right? So how many resources has he taken already? Yeah, definitely. Lumen's taken the Reed. So if Sean doesn't take the wood here, I get six wood next round. So then I would do six wood and three stone or six wood frame builder. Sean taking three clay, thinking about his feeding. Lumen's definitely going for the read here. So yeah, six wood matters. Six wood matters because of fencing and ranch. All right, six wood actions are good. Six wood actions are good. So I now have 20 wood. I can fence 15 and still spend five wood on uh, rooms. So if I decide to build only four rooms, I have now enough wood for the rest of the game. More, in fact, if I buy a wood off of Grocer. So now I think the play pretty clearly is um maybe four stone rooms yeah maybe four stone rooms if definitely fence next stage absolutely i'm fencing next stage maybe only four stone rooms four or five yeah, Rainier does have loom yeah when he when he fenced six there instead of going for another wood room it seemed, well, it, it was probably just a solid play either way, but Loom seemed very likely. Yo, you want to come say hello? People would like to see you. Guys, say hello to our special friend. Hey. There you go. You're on stream now. It's Dr. Game. I've played this game before, but not, it, but not this uh, site. Yeah. Is there a uh, deal on or anything that I should get? I didn't check. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, I just I want to get? say the cards out loud. All the ones that you have. Sure. Ooh, Repond. Ooh, Sheep Whisperer sucks. <laughs> oh, you got Reverb. Good. Guest. It's pretty good. Uh, there's a there's a pick for me. Are there good options in there? Beanfield. Yeah, I go for Beanfield. Uh, yeah, I'd probably play Beanfield. Although it costs a food in this format. It's not free anymore. Which is, it feels bad. Uh, the stone is gone, so I play... Oh, I, I don't want to play an expensive Auk here. That sucks. Uh, I could fence 14. But if, the problem with fencing 14 is I don't collect all my wood back until a lot later. For the ranch. Right? Because I don't get... I get two wood back here. I get two wood in the next stage. I don't get all the wood back until 14. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. So I have ranch, uh, big country, so my goal is to fill my farm really quickly, but I'm also trying to build a bunch of stone rooms, so there's tension there. Um, I'll take stone. No. 
No, the stone is gone. Or else I would. Maybe fence. I mean, I could fence 11 or fence 12. Collect two, and then I'm only going to spend... Yeah, I could fence 12 here. And then I have some wood left over at the end of the game that I'm not sure what I'm doing with it, but... Maybe just fence 12 here is good enough. Yeah. Since I have ranch. And then I'm at least able to take pairs of animals. Oh, the cinematics are pretty cool. How they all just... Yeah. I'm glad you like that. Um. Okay, sorry. I need to pick what I'm eating. Oh, it's okay. You can take your time. No, no. I'll do it now. That's fine. It's not that complicated. I ha I pretty much know what I want to get. Well, the guy made clay. Play room. Did they? Okay. Oh, should I get spicy tofu? Maybe I'll just get spicy tofu. Do these come with rice or anything? Do you know? It's a black beans. And it's kind of like a bit of a picture there. Kind of like. Looks okay. like it's not rice. So I need to make rice. Yeah, we can make rice. Could you? Yeah. I have rice. Yeah, let's make some, I'll make some. That'd be rice. great. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just get the. Can I just look really quickly if there's a deal for this restaurant? Yeah. That's usually what I choose based off of. Uh, store is closed while you were browsing, or what they offer is not available. What? Oh. Maybe they're closed. So this is usually what I do to find. And then I go off of here. This is the buy one, get one free deal. I don't know if any of those are actually appealing to you, though. Oh, probably. Yeah. This is that's usually how I decide. Um, fantastic walk. Five bucks off. But yeah, I'm good with that. But if you want to look and see if there's a different offer, you can do that. But I'm good to order. If you want to see what why it says it's closed or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, Thanks, Nathan. Yeah, if you if you or if you want to go to a different restaurant, that's fine. Or if you figure out what's going on there, let me know. But yeah, I'm not too picky about what, what I get. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Food efficiency ordering, love it. Well, so I love the I love the Uber Eats Pass, but I also like part of the reason I like having it is because the buy one get one free on Uber Eats when you have the pass is pretty good. So I pretty much exclusively order buy one get one free stuff, which restaurants then don't like the buy one get one free deals. They don't give you like a real like if you ever paid full price for one of the buy one get one free things, I'd be unhappy. But fortunately, I don't have to be unhappy because. Um, like, so it's not like the best, it's not like you're getting two real meals for buy one, get one free, but you get usually something pretty decent for the buy one, get one free. So it's usually all right. The portions are almost always smaller. Yeah. So when they, like when the restaurants will list something for the buy one, get one free de deal, they'll almost always make the portion smaller on those items. So Because I think as they figure, like no one's ever going to buy one of these, you're always going to get two. So then they figure, well, people will be okay with the value. Which I generally am, so. They've convinced me. Restaurant can't lose too much money. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so I'm going to have 10 stone at the start of round 12. So that's enough for three rooms. I can build a stable out external to the rooms. I can build a stable external to the rooms, but probably the other thing I could do is take stone. If I take uh, at minimum two stone, then I can uh, do that. I do need a sew bake action this round. Um, so playing grocer into so bake would be an option. The problem is most of the stuff on grocer is not good. Most of the stuff on grocer is not useful for me. The grain is not useful. The wood is probably not useful. Like almost nothing on the grocer is useful for me. 
Man, I had to put in so much work for my three stone fields. And uh, for Sean just to have them is feels bad. It feels bad. So I'll pick up the three sheep. Three sheep and then so bake, I think. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy to have these guys exit the family growth queue because Rainier and uh, Sean both grow in this stage and then I should be able to grow uncontested in the final three rounds. And I get to play... I get... You know what? The stone from Grocer is useful because of sculpt Sculptor. No, you know what? I will have one extra stone. So actually, it's not useful. Mm -hmm. Plowmaker for Rainier... Oh, I have to get uh, Frame Builder in play. I need to remember that. I have to play Frame Builder. I have to do that next next round. So I'll do a so bake here. Mm, I can pay two clay for two stone. Yeah, I can pay two clay for two stone and build four rooms in one stable. Yeah, that makes me wish I had fenced 13 instead of fencing 12. Yeah, thinking about that makes me wish I had done this a little differently. Sleeping corner for Sean. He, he barely needs sleeping corner here. Barely needs sleeping corner here. All good? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, we're going to do new order? Sure. With the buy one, get one free? Yeah. Um, I got the uh, yeah, you'll see the map. Oh, you got the tofu with onion. Okay, so maybe I'll get the bento box mapu tofu. That seems like good value to me. I'm also happy to share if you want to have one and I have one. Sure. If you want to do that, do that yeah, yeah. Sorry. thank you. Thanks, Nathan. Yeah. Yeah, so if I get a good animal grab, I'll take it. But if I don't have time for the animal grab, it's not such a big deal because of um, game trade. Like, the way I'm set up is that I'll have six sheep at the end of the game. So turning two sheep in round 14 to one boar, one cattle for four points is worth it. Play sculpture round 13. So ranch round 12, sculpture round 13, game trade round 14. And if game trade's not worth it, then I play bean field. And that's fine. That's fine. Yes, yeah, this is a fun hand. I don't know if it's co competitive. I don't know if this is a competitive hand, but this is a fun hand. Round five family growth probably means it's not competitive. If it was Reno in six, family growth in seven, maybe. But the problem with that is I'm not getting family growth in 12, probably. Uh, may maybe these guys decide to exit the family growth queue. But probably most of the time family growth is contested in... Uh, in 12 if it's late family growth just based on brushwood collector axe and lumen looking like he has a setup for double build reno five family growth in six that would have been a better you know what though i wasn't even ready to reno in five so i'm not sure about that i'm not sure how much better that is really really what i where i really get hurt is having to grain plow grain plow grain plow and maybe there was a better way to do that that wasn't grain plow, grain plow, grain plow. Maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was really hurting for like an acreage or something, or a free. Yeah, a acreage would be the the number one. Acreage would have been the number one uh, miner that I was hoping for. Um, two boar, or go ahead and play my auk here. Probably play my auk is fine, and then take two stone. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna need a food action in um thirteen, so I'm kind of. Kind of vulnerable there, but I will have four food minimum thanks to my uh, ranch, so I think I'll be okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't have to take two stone. I can use two grain for two stone, right? So I could play a vegetable here or play a plow. Lumen's got plow driver. Oh, he's going to clay fire Reno. Okay. So one cattle seems bad. Plowing. Uh, I want to build four rooms, so I don't think I'm going to plow. Don't want to take food. Maybe just take, take the vegetable. Since I'm going to likely want to sow bake, then this means I could play Beanfield 13. But I want to play Sculpture in that round as well. Uh, I need to think about this move a little bit. I could start player, I guess. But that's just helping Rainier, right? Thinking a bit here. Plow is bad. I don't want to plow. This is a point. Maybe traveling players is the play. And that lessens the pressure on my round 13 action. Yeah, ox not available. Was there an improvement there to play? The problem is, yeah, I guess I would, didn't have to go on start player. I could have played an improvement on major minor. Could have played Beanfield on major minor. I think taking the four food traveling players is okay. It's almost a bake action. It's as good as a bake action because I, I can eat a raw grain and have as much food as I would have from one extra bake. I'll need a so bacon 14. I will need a so bacon 14. And I'll want one, probably. Yeah, so I'm a bit vulnerable. I do need a so bacon 14. Or I need a food action. Maybe fishing is allowed to, uh, is fishing allowed to accumulate? Maybe. I don't know. I've been so focused on my game, I'm really not sure what the situation of everybody else is. Um. Sean is in a good position. <laughs> Hot take. Sean is doing well. <laughs> He's ready to fence 14 here and play ranch, which fortunately he does not have.
Man, nobody's gonna want Plow So. Sean can't use Plow So, man. <laughs> Sean can't use Plow So, and Rainier's plowed twice already. No, like nobody's gonna want Plow So, which is hilarious. So that makes me that makes me regret my fence layout. I could have fenced smaller. The problem with fencing smaller is ranch. That's the big problem with fencing smaller. So I was counting up what my score would look like with a, what was it, a seven room house? So what does my score look like now? So 12 plus 15, 27, 29, 31, fence stable, 32, let's say three points from grain, 35, vegetable point, 36, two sheep points, 38, one of each animal type, 40, uh, 42, 43, 44. So I'm scoring around uh, Sculpture and Ranch, 48. So I'm scoring around 48. The problem is Sean's going to be low 50s. So I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be close. So was Rainier's first pick Wood Collector, I think? I don't think I passed Wood Collector. And then Sean, presumably first picked Assistant Tiller, and Lumen first picked Plow Driver. Is Plow Driver first pick? Like, Plow Driver... Plow Driver's pretty good in A, B, because there's so few plows. It seems like there are a few more plows in C, D, so I wonder if Plow Driver is still really good in C, D. I'm not sure, actually. I have I haven't played very much, so I'm not sure how the composition of the games have changed. Yeah, so there's not too much for me to say because, like, I I, I I don't have too much to say about my opponents' games that they are probably not already saying about each other. I mean, I have a fun I have a fun hand. This is this is a really fun line. This is a really fun line. Unfortunately, I think family growth in five sewers it. Um, but uh, it's a fun, it's a really fun hand. Maybe if there was a way for me to use the grocer, like if the grocer, I, I can't really use the grocer because it only has one grain on it. Maybe if the maybe if grocer has two grade on it, there's some weird line where I buy all the grocer stuff, and then that gets me the two read for my reno, and I don't have to start player straw thatched roof. Yeah, I'm not sure. Always a risk to go for a small house and very hard to do perfectly with so few moves. Honestly, this has gone well. Like, I've gotten, like, getting the six wood actions that I got were really important. Getting the six wood actions were really important. Because I needed to, like, they let me have, they let me fence and take three sheep. Which, fencing and taking three sheep at the right time was really important for this hand. So I'm, like, pretty happy with how this has gone. But the problem is that the, the, my ceiling is so much lower than what my opponents can be given, or, given when they got to grow. So... You know what would be the worst? If somebody builds a room here. <laughs> that that would really suck. That would really suck. If somebody builds here, that would really suck. Or builds a stable. Like if Econ Sean first move builds a stable. I don't think that will happen, but that would really suck. Yeah, he's going to take two cattle, right? 
Rainier's buying out his seed trader here. So he can do a big plow so action. Like, Rainier's had a good game. Rainier's had a good game. The problem is Sean's game is even better. Br Brushwood Collector plus Axe seems to be really good in this format. And part, part of that, too, is that he got to take food and plow fields and get crops all at the same time. Like, he got to develop his farm and build rooms at the same time. Yeah. Pretty nice. Hmm. My goal at this point is not to be last. I might be beating Lumen. Lumen's game is pretty tough. Lumen's game is quite tough. The fact that he had to fight with Econ Sean for family growth and that Sean sits in front of him. Like any star player from Rainier and I mess up Lumen. And I did start player in five. Looming fence, Lumen Fencing 7 here. That's a feels bad. How's he doing on his Lantern House? 5 plate occupations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plate improvements. So it's a 3 point minor right now. He's got 4 cards left in hand. Probably we see at least 2 of them. So probably he gets to 5 points on Lantern House minimum. What I kind of regret, I wonder if I should have given up on ranch, fence smaller, and then I would have had the capability to plow more fields here. Or to have built more rooms, maybe. Uh, so I pay 10, 10, 4, 1. Is that right? No, because I want to keep a stone in my supply. 942. Yes, I want to keep a stone in my supply for Sculptor. Yeah, I also did a very inefficient stage one, right? Grain plow, grain plow, grain plow for straw thatched roof on its face. Um, now, if you have something like axe, probably worth it, right? To do that, you could probably get away with that. And then you triple build with axe for only six wood, right? Something like that. You can get away with it. To do that and then go to stone and then build a bunch of stone rooms, like that's a that's a lot. That's a lot to try to do. Like the big problem with this hit is just like, I'm only going to have two pastures and three fields. So just like these guys are both going to be at four pastures, four fields. So I'm just too many points behind them on, on the board. And I'm not going to have an edge in another area. Like if I had a mansion or something, then sure. But I don't have mansion, unfortunately. Ooh. Does Sean not beat Rainier if he doesn't get to stone? I wonder if Rainier denying Sean stone is a way for Rainier to win. And if Rainier does that, has to spend a bunch of moves denying Sean, then that's better for me because I'll be closer to the to the winners if they spend moves. To screen each other over. 
That would be good for me. So maybe I start player Beanfield as one of my moves in eight in thirteen. Start player Beanfield to make sure that I get the so bake in fourteen because the so bake is very important to me. So I play round thirteen is like vegetable start player Beanfield family growth uh, sculptor sculpture not sculptor sculpture. I guess I could technically play Grocer. The problem with Grocer is I can only bake one grain. If I could bake multiple grain, then maybe I could play Grocer. But I think... Yeah. And if I could get pairs of animals, I'd be interested in pairs of animals. But Game Trade works pretty well here. Game Trade, great, game trade is actually like kind of perfect here. So... Yeah, yeah. I, I literally put it in chat. One chief, please. Chief, I need chief. I need first pick chief here for this to work. Instead of grocer. Or another good one would be that miner where you pay an animal, you pay a sheep and a boar to get points per rooms. That would be good. Or uh, what else? Cookies, maybe? Would cookies have been good here? Cookies, I would need a way to bake multiple grain at a time. So not cookies. Not cookies. Cookies is too slow. Um, not pelts. Uh, I don't know. What what scales based on number of rooms? Like um, And like it needs to be something that doesn't care about building until 12. So I think it's literally just chief. Because like, I, I don't have the moves for mansion. I guess if I had Mansion, I would have held on to Freemason a bit longer. Maybe would have played Clay Hut Builder. But uh, yeah, it's not I'm not too worried about it. Half Timbered House with Grocer Resources would have worked. Yeah, the thing is, I would have really need the, needed the Stone Oven in that line. And I guess I, I guess the Stone Oven is fine, but then I don't... Um, I wouldn't have been able to fence, probably. I would have fenced later, so I have to not play ranch. I don't know. It's okay. Attic? Attic? Uh, yeah, attic would have been good. Attic would have been good, yes. Attic would have been a very good, very good, very good play. Yeah. I would have happily spent another five wood for, like, taking wood, taking a lot, bunch of more wood, and then, actu and then I actually would have gone for, like, um, for uh, more, even more rooms, yeah. And fence smaller. Yeah, attic would have been nice. Problem is fitting attic in, right? You can't just like you can't just add it to this hand because everything everything played a very important part, right? Every everything in this hand played an important role. Even millwright. Even millwright. <laughs> Sean with the two stone action. What majors are still there? The pottery. So you can go for the pottery. Seems like you can't get to Stone Reno. Tavern Keeper. The the problem with Tavern Keeper. Well, so does Tavern Keeper give you bonus points for empty rooms at the end? I think it doesn't. It only give you one. If it's if it's point per empty room, yeah, a point per empty room Tavern Keeper would have worked. But I don't remember exactly how Tavern Keeper works. P part of what makes Tavern Keeper good is getting the food grain for the empty space, right? And the, or the empty room, and that would have messed with my um, Freemason. Animal husbandry, animal, animal husbandry keeper. No wait, animal husbandry trainer. Trainer. I think you're thinking of animal tamer's apprentice. Expend nine, and that would have been good. That would have been good. The problem is it would have only been clay, it, or it would have only been cattle. Yeah, it would have only been cattle.
So hopefully I get vegetable back. Ho hopefully Lumen doesn't take it with this move. Oh, and nobody wants, yeah, nobody wants Plowso. We've had a full rotation and nobody's gone on Plowso. Plowso sucks this game, which is hilarious, but that's the case. So if Vegetable's gone, I can play Grocer. I really don't want to, though. I think, I think, I, I think I can't afford to play Grocer to get my Vegetable. I might have to open vegetable in 14 if I do that and count on getting so baked back, which would I? No, no, Lumen. Um, What do I even do now? Hmm. What is left for me? Could bake now. I have the grain to bake now. For five, for four food. Can I really not do anything better than four food here? Take three wood and build stables. That's one point. Maybe I get four wood. I open four wood and build stables next round. Is he going to build stables? He might build stables this round, I guess. Okay. I could build fences, I guess. I could have spent a green to build two, two, um, one fence. That would have been annoying for my opponents, but not actually like that bad for them. I don't if I had taken green first, do I wheel start player? That might have been the line for the extra point. So hopefully Sean is building stables this round. Newman's got potato harvester. Yeah. Hmm. He really wanted to sow here. But me being on so bake is really bad for him. So I have 13 food, feed seven here. I have six going into the final harvest so I can eat three raw grain. And if I do that, I don't have to take any food at the end. Now I will have four moves. So if two moves are take wood and, so if I eat two grain, that's eating two points. Or if I eat three grain, that's eating um, three points. Or sorry, two points. 
But eat three grain, that's eating three uh, two points. So taking food would be a two point move. So long as it's a food action that's not baked. If it's a food action that's baking, then that still is only a one point move. Now, if I get the vegetable first, if I open literally one vegetable wheel so bake, that's maybe my best line. The problem is I don't have enough places to sow my grain onto. I guess I open vegetable either way, right? If I vegetable, so bake. So the so bake action after taking vegetable is a two point move. So vegetable is a two point move. So bake's a two point move. Stable is a one point move. And then uh, stable is actually a two point move if I get exactly the line of vegetable so stable. Because I'll have five grain and I can turn the one grain. No, it's only it only becomes one wood. I, for some reason, I thought the grain became two wood with millwright. No, it only becomes one wood. With one each, yeah. Yeah. So the stables is a one point move and then family growth is a bunch of, bunch of points. Am I opening vegetable here? I'm just opening vegetable here. Boar or cattle would be one point moves. So I have a few one point moves if I don't get so baked back. If I don't get so baked back, then stable becomes a two point move. Because if I'm going to eat three grain, then turning another two grain into a point for a, um, a stable is okay. So, so bake might, if I'm going to stable afterwards, so bake might not be that good. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it means if I, it means that if I get so bake, then, uh, then um, stable is a two is a one point move. If I don't get so baked, then stable is a two point move. And I mean, either way, taking one of cattle is only ever one point. I don't have anything better than that either way. So, like taking two, taking four wood is a uh, is worth taking four wood and not getting so baked is only a one point move. Yeah, because it only lets me build one extra stable. Uh, can anyone build stables here? Doesn't look like it. Do my so bake action. I 
I really, I what I was really hurting for here. Another reason this line, hand does a lot better in G four five plus. Um, no, I have no bakes in my in my hand. No bakes out of my miners. So a miner oven would have been really good. With a miner oven, then maybe I, I can afford to play grocer. If I have something like that. Hey, how did uh, Lumen so last round? I miss that. Um, how did Lumen so last round? Because I was on so big. Did he get plow so? Oh, maybe he just got plow so really late. Yeah, he might have just got plow so really late. Crosscut wood. Okay. Games offering him lasso options, but I don't think there's a legal place to lasso. I have the only, or no, I don't have a cooking hearth. Sorry, Rainier has the only cooking hearth, which is hilarious. Lumen's got field fences. Okay, so this is how he fills up his farm. Yep. Pretty sure I'm beating Lumen. Lumen's got a couple negatives, right? Even, yeah, his joinery is only two. His BMW, he does have a five-point BMW. And he does have the Lantern House. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm not beating Lumen with Lantern House. But if he has a couple negatives from animals, then I'm, I think I'm beating Lumen. So what's my final here? It was pretty close to what I said. Uh, I think I was giving myself three points from grain and only one point from vegetable, so that can't that like balances out. So 27, 29, 31, 33, uh, 35, 36, 37, 39, 41, uh, 43, 45, 46, 48, 49, 50. I hit 50, so 50 is a very respectable score. Does Millwright work with fences? Good question. This is the first time I've played with it. Uh, build fences. Yeah, it does work with fences. So, yeah, ending the game with five, five green and, uh, is a problem with Millwright. Because, yeah, I could have spent one grain for one point to cover that. Although the timing matters, right? Because I think I spent exactly all the resources I had or could have in... Well, I was one stone off. I was one stone off, right? Because I had to keep a stone for sculpture. So I could have, instead of spending the stone for sculpture, if I could have bought the stone from Grocer, for example, then I could have spent an extra wood for a fence, and then I'd be at 51, but like... I mean, this is this is close to as well as I could have done. This is pretty close to as well as I could have done. Okay, I'm happy to hit 50. You know, 
Sim. It was a fun line. It was a fun line, and like I said, this line never worked if I play... Like, I can never go... Well, not that it never works, but I can never safely go for this line in a regular board game arena game because it's just going to be a very negative EV decision. But when I'm playing with these three guys, I know that I can. In hindsight, could you have just fenced this round instead of stable? Yes. Yes, you're right, Ducker. You are absolutely right. I have an extra point if I fence instead of one stable. Yes. Hopefully that one point doesn't matter. I don't think that one point will matter, but hopefully that one point doesn't matter. But yeah, that's a great that's a great observation, Ducker. Yes. I did not even consider that line. Yes. Uh, you are absolutely right. I have an extra point if I literally just fence here. I don't have to do anything different. I'd literally just take fence instead of daily instead of uh bill uh stable. Yeah. Yep. Good call. Could have built an extra stable with a grain. Uh, the grain costs two stables a piece because mill rate is one to one. Mill rate is one to one. It doesn't it doesn't replace two wood. It only replaces one. So I couldn't have built an built an extra stable, but I could have fenced and spent one wood because then I, that's two points, right? If I fence three, two wood and one grain. Yeah, that's a that's a good observation, Ducker. Thank you. I hope the one point doesn't make a difference, but I'm sure that it's not. It's an even worse a card than I thought. Uh, yeah, it seems like it's okay with Field Watchman, but uh, yeah, obviously what I did with the Strath Etched Roof is is fun, but yeah, it's not like a. It's not great. It doesn't work on improvements. If it worked on improvements, it's probably okay on its face. If you can have six grain and build the stone oven with three grain, right? It's probably acceptable. But the fact that you can't use it for stables is a. Or for improvements is probably pretty important for this kind of card. Eh, I don't know. GG. Uh, but yeah, you guys should, if you got to the end here, you guys should check out the other people who streamed. Um, Rainier, Rainier Games, Econ Sean, Econ Sean, and Lumen, Lumen underscore S. So. I'm multi-watching streams, so I can't get credit. Lumen suggested it. Yeah, good call. Yep. It's just plus, it's just literally plus one point for me. Yeah. I missed it. But it doesn't matter, because I'm in third either way. And Rainier pulls off the win. Yeah. So Sean not getting to stone. Sean not getting to stone costs him huge. Oh, fun game. Fun game. Um, yeah, fun game. Yeah, Shaw, like Rainier gets helped by me a little bit. I think Sean gets helped by me. Rainier got helped by me a little bit. But also it lets Sean grow really quickly. I don't know. <laughs> Lumen says turns out Plowso is pretty worthless, yeah. Only five points in it, turn five family growth, imagine if it's later. Yeah. Well that's the thing. Round five family growth was brutal. Um Round five family growth was, was obviously bad for my line. I win the had the most fun category. I had a lot of fun play. I had a lot of fun playing this game. <laughs> uh. 
Lumen said he almost first picked Cottager to wheel Freemason. Mm. I also win time spent. <laughs> yeah, because I had so many I had so many fewer moves than my opponents. That's why. I had so many fewer moves. I bet if you go based on number of actions, it's comparable. Like number of actions played or something like that. Two, exactly, two people the whole game. Exactly, like I knew it was obvious to me what moves I needed, right? Like I was on, I this hand, this hand was very much on rails. So, all right, guys, um, gonna go find out where the food is. I definitely need to eat something before I do another game. So, but I think I'm gonna do another game. I don't really have too much else to do. Um, oh wait, I have to check my phone actually. I do need to check my phone. 42, 46, 31, 40. Is that number on here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to take a bit of a break. This is a fun one. Glad. Thanks for thanks to Sean for setting it up. Um, I'll do another game. Uh, probably going to play on um, play Agricola if I can get a game. But yeah, I need to take a break. I need some food. So probably like minimum 10, 15 minute break. Go find out where the food is and uh, we'll be back with another game. We'll see you in a bit.